I love it. I have learned so many new things. For Crater High School sophomore Aubrey Merrill, it was a perfect scene. This year with film, I've never done film before. This was my first time ever making a film from start to finish. And I thought it would be a nice, cool, fun thing to try. For the first time, the Crater Renaissance Academy Digital Studio had a film class directed by first year teacher Billy King. Learning the industry standard software like Premiere and working with the, the cameras is a uh, was intimidating at first, but uh, we just kept on adding on little by little. Teacher term, we scaffolded, keep on adding more until uh, you know we're making films. All 20 students made a film. Many focused on their own life experiences. On my movie, I wanted to be able to show two different cultures. I wanted to be able to show deaf culture and hearing culture. I want to show that it doesn't matter, they can still be friends if they're deaf and hearing. Sophomore Lucia DiGiorgio chose to show a day in her life as someone who is deaf. My experience really fits in with my movie because one of my friends, they're hearing, but she learned some ASL so the two of us could communicate. When they were done, these are all pictures I took last year. Aubrey, Lucia, and their classmates submitted their films to the Ashland Independent Film Festival. I was super surprised. I turned it in and I was like, even just saying you've submitted a film to a film festival is a super big deal. So I was like, if I don't get accepted, like, it's okay. I tried my hardest. But when I heard I had gotten accepted, I was so surprised and just super humbled. Lucia and two others were also accepted to the festival, where their films will compete against other high schoolers. I really enjoy digital arts. And no matter the outcome, seeing their work on the silver screen, that's the ultimate prize. The fact that my kids are having this much success, I'm just so proud of them. In Central Point, Matt Jordan, NBC5 News.